this is Stampy, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on LEGO Worlds. I have played this game before, uh, some of you may remember I kind of did like a, a little mini series on this game uh, a very long time ago, uh, when it was in uh, early access on the, the PC, uh, but a lot has changed in the, the game since then, and I'm now playing it on the, uh, the, the console version, and now it's fully been released. Anything is possible, and here you are, just starting out on a creative adventure. Infinite worlds ahead, infinite possibility, and one goal, to become a master builder. See how these magicians of the brick use their creative tools, summoning creatures, conjuring houses, flattening mountains, and shaping the land itself. You too can wield that power. Discover and master the creative tools. Collect new bricks, models, and vehicles. Conquer worlds. Make your mark and become a master builder. Able to create completely new worlds of endless possibility. Welcome to LEGO Worlds. Okay then, let's begin my adventure and see if I can become a master builder. <laughs> so right, let's uh, start up a, a brand new game. I'm really looking forward to this. I, I enjoyed kind of what what I played of the, the early access, but uh, it definitely wasn't a complete game back then. So I'm looking forward to, to, to seeing what they've added since then and kind of how it's changed and uh, evolved. And uh, yeah, I can begin my journey to become a master builder. One of the things that I'm really excited about uh, with uh, with this game that they've, they've added in is basically multiplayer. As you can see, you can now join other people's games, uh, which is something that I'm really looking forward to. I can hopefully uh, play the, the game with some friends and I can join their worlds and they can join our worlds. And uh, yeah, we can all kind of play together. So uh, yeah, I don't know exactly what kind of videos I'm going to be making on this, uh, this game yet or how many, but yeah, I just want to explore and kind of work out what the game is all about for for starters. It has a really cool intro video. I really enjoyed the, the intro, so that's a good thing. And I'm assuming that's me. I'm assuming that that astronaut is is me, about to, to plummet down to the, the, the ground. And I believe that the, the, the levels are all are all kind of randomly created, you know, procedurally generated to, to use the, the term everyone likes to, to use. So, uh, yeah, I don't know whether my world's going to be kind of different to, to everyone else's worlds or, or exactly how things are going to, to work. But, all uh, right then, let's let's fall down to the, the ground as you so often do. Oh, okay, I need to, to hold triangle and then... Oh, my, my customer... Oh, I got the, the customizer. Right, I can either be... Okay, but I get, I'm basically picking girl or boy at the, the moment. So, uh, in the, the the early access version I played, it really seemed to, to be about kind of collecting new characters and collecting new blocks. And so I'm assuming that this is going to be kind of the, the same thing. So I'm going to have more options to, to customize myself in the future. Right here we fall. Look, there's a, there's a giant pirate ship down there. I know. Oh, is this? I think this is my my spacecraft down here as well. Let's do my, my elegant landing. <laughs> And somewhere, a way to fix your rocket. Pirate Playground. Right, here we are in Pirate Playground, and here's here's my rocket ship. Ah, it looks like we need three yellow bricks, or gold bricks, I think they, they might be, in order to, to repair my... Yeah, my pirate ship that definitely looks like it has seen better days. And I just love the look of this game. Doesn't it look so cool, like the way the ground is just all tiny Lego pieces? It sounds so obvious in a Lego game to have the ground made out of Lego, but so many of them aren't. Look, so many of the, um... A meteorite. Ooh. You'd better go and check out the crash site. Okay, let's go check out the, the meteorite. Yeah, but so many Lego games, only some of the world is made out of Lego, and, like, most of it isn't. But this game, like everything, is made out of Lego. They're like, this is a game that just feels like it's been made out of Lego, and that's something that I've always absolutely loved about it. And oh, oh, I found something. I got a, uh, a discovery tool. So I guess I'm going to put this into to my little quick select, and I'm assuming I use it to discover things? Use the powerful discovery tool to scan and collect new models, outfits, creatures, and vehicles. Once they're in your collection, you can use the tool to summon things into your worlds. Place them precisely where you want them. Or fire them into the sky with wild abandon. Getting to grips with the discovery tool is the first step on your journey to become 
A master builder. <laughs> I love the emphasis on master builder. Right then, so I can use this to to discover things now, I guess. So how do I how do I get it out? So I can see the controls down there. So use the items, do the the D-pad. No, that's not doing anything. Action. Uh, circle's not doing much. Oh, hello, seagull. Oh, sorry, I just punched a seagull. It's okay. And now I've just now I've just picked it up and I'm carrying it around. Uh, put it away. Okay, that's just uh, to drop it down. Let's just play with the seagull for a little bit. Let's forget the discovery tool. And then oh, I can throw it. I'm sorry, seagull. I thought it was going to elegantly fly away. <laughs> right then, how do I how do I get up my my discovery tool then? Okay, so I can change I can change to to what I look like. Jump action. It says use the D-pad to, to do items, but that's not that's not doing anything for 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 now. Uh, triangle. There we go. Triangle. That brings up my my discovery tool. And then how do I use it? So I want to to hop, and it says to to put away. How do I actually fire this thing? Oh, I've got into I've got into to first person now. <laughs> first person to discovering. Uh, no discoveries made. Oh, so do I press triangle to discover things? Here we go. I think I'm gonna make a discovery. I discovered something. I discovered a little sand castle. Objects. <laughs> So I can just keep going around and just discovering things like this. And so what I think this means, yes. Yeah, so that basically just puts it in my my object menu. And how do I get how do I get out of this view? There we go. <laughs> so yeah, that just basically uh, makes it so once I've discovered it, I think I can just place it wherever I want. And can I just do it as many times as I like, or is there or is there a limit? It looks like I can just do loads. Let's just put like a million campfires all the the way around here, <laughs> so that I can go and put it away like that. So there we go. That's how uh, discovering works. So when I last played it. You seem to just walk up to something and then it's already uh, discovered. And this game it looks like you need to, to use a discovery tool. And hello, hello, pirate. He seems to have one of the the, the gold bricks that are that I'm after. Let's uh, let's speak to him and see what he has to say. Arr, I need a pirate throne to make this ship feel like home. Okay, he needs a pirate phone. So a pirate phone, a pirate phone. <laughs> so I guess I need to to find one of them, discover it. And then bring it back to to him by the the looks of things. So, where am I going to get a pirate throne from? I wonder if there's actually one inside of the pirate ship. It would feel silly if there was actually one already in the pirate ship. But oh, can I can I open up these? Ah, I can smash them open. I get a bunch of Lego bits from uh, inside of them. So let's go and smash some of these open. I should probably be d discovering more things as well as uh, as I go. But for for now, let's just focus on getting the the pirate phone. So let's uh pirate phone. I don't know why I keep saying phone. <laughs> let's uh, let's just wander around a bit. Is the one just going to be lying around down here? I do need to to get three of those gold bricks. So I do need to, you know, I am going to have to do other things uh, as well to to try and find more of them. Oh, no, is this one here? Is, this, is that a, a throne? No, I think that might be just a banana tree. <laughs> I'm just looking at things and just assuming that's what they are. And it looks like almost anything I break uh, makes the, the little uh, Lego bits come out of. And I guess I might be able to, to use them to, to buy things. And oh, can I, can I, I can sell the boat. I can sell, well, it's hardly a, a grand pirate ship to, to be fair, but <laughs> at least it's uh, it's something I can sail around on. And oh, what's that? I think I, I've got a, a backpack now as well. Right, let's go and, uh, and sail around the, the island and we kind of kind of have a, a look from the, the boat and uh, and try and see uh, if there's uh, any pirate thrones that uh, we're going to be able to, to find. And oh, look, there's, uh, there's another boat down there underneath the, the water as well. Looks like there's... There's a bunch of things underneath the, the water as well that we might be able to discover. It looks like we are on a little bit of a tiny island though. It doesn't look like we can really go beyond where the, the island is. It looks like we're kind of on like the, the, the limit of it now. Come on, get out the water. Stop floundering around. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's keep wandering then. So we either want to, to find the, uh, the, the throne or just somewhere else where we might be able to, to get different Lego bricks from. Uh, the, uh, the, the gold bricks. Oh, hello! Hello, there's another one down here. Seems to be a farm, and is that, is that a real pig? No, that's just a, <laughs> a Lego, a Lego brick version of a pig. Right, what does, what does this person want? Arr, some pigs and chickens is what I need right here, Savvy! Okay, so she needs uh, five chickens and uh, and three pigs, so uh, I guess I can just kind of pick them up and throw them in. Oh, don't go in the water, pig! Really? Is, is that pig gonna drown? I was literally just about to pick up that. Do I need to? I think I need to save it from drowning. Come here, pig. I'll save you. <laughs> right? Can I? Can I pick it up? Is it going to be too big for me to pick up? I was running away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's telling me to to hold triangle. Oh, can I discover a pig? Ah! If I just discover a pig, Coaches. then I might be able just to um, just to to kind of fire it in in here. So let, let's kind of jump in and then hold triangle to to get this thing out. 
And then, so if I press triangle, I can see my discoveries. And now I use the, the pieces I've gathered in order to essentially buy them. So there we go. That's the, the pig inside. So let's go and uh, let's go and discover a chicken then, shall we? Well, these ones, I might just be able to, to grab these ones and throw them in. That might be an easier way of doing it. If I just drop them down here, I might need to, to kind of spawn one extra one in. But let's see, how many more chickens do we need? Is that enough chickens? No, we need more chickens. So <laughs> let's go and get the, the discovery tool back out. Uh, and let's go and... Uh, and uh, try and discover this chicken if we can. There we go. That's uh, a chicken discovered. And then we can go here and grab it. And hopefully we've got uh, enough bits to, to get all of these in. Uh, there we go. And there we go. That's enough chickens. And that is the, the gold brick for, for me. So one uh, of three of the, the, the gold bricks discovered. And you know what? I am feeling generous as well, so I'm gonna give I'm gonna give her some bonus chickens uh, as well. <laughs> Seeing as she she was so nice to, to me, I'm gonna give her some some extra ones. But you'll need two more gold bricks to fix your rocket. There we go. Have have spare chickens in case they they end up going missing again. <laughs> right, so that's one down, uh, two to go. So I still know that I need that that pirate throne from somewhere. I mean, is it, do you reckon it, I mean, I'm assuming it's not going to be on the pirate ship. Because that feels like it would be a little bit silly if it's actually on the, the pirate ship. Seeing as, you know, like he basically has it already at that point. But I've noticed on the, the minimap it's showing me that, that there's a gold brick there. So I wonder if it's going to show me where the, the other one is. I can't see any more on the, the map. Can I bring up a, a bigger map? I guess this is kind of a bigger map. It's kind of too big. So uh, this is quite cool. It's like a... Obviously, a Lego version of the, the map built really tidy. That looks awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't really give much uh, away to me in terms of, um, of yeah, where to get the, the other bricks. And, oh, what's this here? Aha! Hello there, my hearties. What does this person want? Uh -huh. Captain wants a pirate clock tower, but I can't open the chest to get the plans. Can you help? Oh, I need to, to open the, the chest. I give it a go. Can I smash this open? Okay, looks like this one's going to be a, an easy one. So hold triangle. To, oh no, is it? Do I need to hold? Okay, I think I hold circle to, to open up the, the chest. And there we go. What are we going to be able to, to grab from uh, from inside? There we go. That's the, the, the plans for the, the clock tower. So I think once I have the, the plans of something, I can just build it whenever I want. Let's, uh, well, let, let's speak to, to this lady here and see if we can get our reward. Then let's see if we can go and build, build a, a clock tower somewhere. Ah, I'm just not the building kind. If you have the pirate clock tower plans from the big chest, can you help? Ah, so it looks like I do need to, to build the, the clock tower. So where where would be the, the perfect location to build a clock tower? What about up on top of this hill? I think this would be a beautiful place to, to build a, a clock tower in. So let's go to our discoveries. Let's go to the, the clock tower. And uh, do I just aim down here? Oh, no, I don't think I don't think I selected it properly yet. Let's go back through. And oh, no, come on. And then discoveries, clock tower. There we go, right here on top of the, the hill. And then, is it, is it built? <laughs> I seem to be stuck in a tree right now. What's going on? Did, 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 did I build it? Okay, no, I'm stuck in a tree. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, pirate lady. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm still stuck in a tree, but that, oh, there we go. It, it just wasn't letting me move because I think she was approaching. But there we go. Here is my clock tower. Should we climb it? Let's climb the, the, the clock tower then, Two shall we? Three. Does one more, and you can lift off to another world. So you can pretty much climb on anything in this game, which is what I love as well. Just getting around is just so, so easy. But can I, can I get to the top? There we go. I'm on the top. Oh, I can go inside. I can go inside of the, the clock tower that I built. Is there anything on the inside? God, I'm not very, I'm not very elegant at moving around the world. Oh, there was a, there was a doorway. And there was a ladder in the middle as well. I think that might have been the, the easier way to, to get up to the, the, the top up there. But there we go. There is my beautiful piratey clock tower and the, uh, the, the addition that I made to the, the land. Right then, so the last thing is the, the, throne them so he really wants to run. unless I have I haven't already discovered a throne have I let me uh, let me have a look through my my discoveries now I've got the sand castle and stuff now I haven't discovered one let's speak to him again and just see exactly exactly what it is that he said to me oh, I don't think it I don't think it's gonna let me talk to him again it's just saying that he definitely wants a, a pirate throne so maybe maybe it is on the pirate ship thing because I don't I don't know where else on the, the island it would have been, but oh, there's a whole load of gold around here. Don't mind if I if I loot some of your treasure, do you, pirate? Don't, don't mind me, just uh, <laughs> me passing through, stealing all of your all of your goodies. And then there's a big barrel here as well. I know I probably should be scanning and discovering all of this stuff, but I'd, I'd rather just smash it open. That's that's what I enjoy doing at LEGO games, just smashing lots of things up and getting all the, the LEGO bits. <laughs> uh, right, what about inside of here? 
Nope, no Lego thrones inside there. Let's go back up to the, the top then and uh, look at uh, the entire way around there. It would be silly if the Lego throne is on the pirate ship and he wants it because you, you feel like he has it anyway. And to be fair, it's not like it's not like this pirate ship's going anywhere. It seems well and truly crashed <laughs> into the, the, the island for for now. So I don't I don't really think that this is uh, is going to be making any long voyages anytime soon. But there are uh, a few areas uh, on this side that I haven't had a look around yet, and uh, if nothing else, uh, a bunch more uh, chests for, for me to, to smash open and uh, get all of the, the goodies inside. Uh, there's a uh, another chest here as well, just to get these Lego bits, and these seem like they're going to be really important, because you basically use them to, to buy pretty much everything you use in the, the game, so uh, yeah, I think getting absolutely loads of those Lego bits is going to be really important. Where is the, where is the, the throne though? I'm pretty sure it's not on the, the actual pirate ship, unless I'm being completely blind, which, let's be honest, is a very real possibility. I don't think it's actually on the, the ship, so that's that's what it looks like. Get a good look at it, and remember what the, the thing looks like. It's got kind of two swords on the, the top, and uh, maybe we need to, to go and have a, a wander around the, the island. Maybe it's around the um, the, the back of the, the ship over in, uh, in this direction, and uh, kind of just fallen off the, the ship. No, I can't. I can't find it here. Right, let's let's do one like big loop of the uh, the the island then, and see if we can find it. And actually, on the mini map, there's a little green circle over here. I wonder, is this ah? Okay, I should have just used my eyes and looked at the 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 map. And oh, can I can I use this? Oh, okay. I think I just need to to discover the the throne. So let's go and uh, and discover that. And uh, is there anything else we can discover? We can just discover uh, a whole bunch of things that are, are lying around here. Uh, yeah, which we're going to be able to, to build a little bit later on. So there we go. This should be the, the last gold brick that I needed. Uh, in order to, to be able to, to fix my, my ship. And then it looks like uh, we might be able to, to head off to, to space or to, to some new islands. Or uh, yeah, at least uh, discover somewhere new. So right. Uh, where where would you like your your pirate throne, sir? Uh, I guess I can put it uh, here in the, the the middle of the the ship. So it's going to be in this section here. Let's go and uh, oh no, that that would be a sandcastle. That <laughs> would not be a a pirate throne. He might be a little bit disappointed if I give that. How do I go and select it? There we go and select it. It's only seven hundred and fifty. Doesn't cost too much. But where oh, where is it? Select it, and there we go. Now I can place it. Oh, I can rotate it. Around. Well, let's put it, like, right behind him. Then all he needs to do is just turn around and sit down, and then he's going to be <laughs> ready to ready to, to relax on his pirate ship. And there we go. I got my my gold brick, which he was uh, conveniently uh, holding for me. So that's all three of the, the missions completed. I am a, a learner builder right now. I'm still far off from becoming a master builder. But <laughs> you got to start somewhere, don't you? You always uh, have to, to start somewhere. Oh, no, have I leveled up? I'm a discoverer builder, and then I need to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, more um, gold bricks uh, in order to to get the the next three level. Gold so bricks, that's exactly what your rocket needs. Congratulations. So yeah, before we head off, let's just go and scan a, a few more of the the things that might be lying around the the area here, in case I fancy uh, building something piratey in the the future. Uh, it's always good to to have all of these things uh, available. And I don't think I've got the the torch yet. And let's go and grab this uh, this flag as well. Because it's good because you can either build by just placing down all of these things that you discover. Or, if you're really good and have a lot of time, you can literally go and build brick by brick by brick. And add loads and loads and loads of detail. So, you can kind of do it however you want. But now, uh, I should be able to, to fix my, my ship. To be fair, it looks like it needs more than three gold bricks to, <laughs> to get this thing running again. But hey, if that's what it needs, then that's what I'm going to give it. And there we go. My ship is uh, is complete. All right, am I going to be able to, to choose where I, I head to next? Let's uh, let's just jump in and uh, let's find out uh, what is going to, to happen next. shows you the worlds you have been to, the world you're on, and the worlds you're yet to explore. Collect more gold bricks and you'll be able to travel farther afield to bigger worlds, with more biomes, and a huge variety of new discoveries. Okay then, so it seems like this is almost kind of like a, a story mode. This wasn't in the, the game when I played it before. It looks like this is much more, um, much more directed rather than just plonking you in a, a giant open world. So, right then, let's go to the new place. So that's where we are, we are there. And then, can we head here? So I think I need gold bricks to, to fly there. So it looks like this might be the, the only place that we can uh, head to next. So, right then, to 4036 Off we go! Are we gonna launch? 
Or maybe not. Do I need to, to go and click this? It is really weird the way you're you're kind of just moving a cursor with the, the analog stick. It, do, it definitely feels like it has been built more for, for PC, uh, but they might be able to, to kind of update that a little bit later on. The game does lag a little bit as well when I'm kind of moving around. Uh, I kind of thought it would be okay because I'm playing on the, the, the PlayStation 4 Pro. So I thought that it shouldn't lag too much, but you kind of understand it with a game like this where there's just so much going on and so many bricks and, you know, you can literally spawn whatever you want into the, the world. You do you do kind of expect it a little bit more. Uh, oh, what's going on? Uh, volcanoes? Disturbing volcanoes. Is this is this where we're, we're flying to, to next? God, this looks cool flying through space like this. I love the fact that even the, um, the little text bubbles that come up there, even they are made out of Lego. It's like a case where... Literally, pretty much everything you see on the screen is Lego. Like, even, like, the, the particle effects of, like, the uh, the wind as you're flying down is just tiny little pieces of Lego. I love it. I mean, who doesn't love Lego? And <laughs> to be able to, to enter a world of Lego like this is just absolutely amazing. And right then, here we are. Island Prehistoric number two. Peril. Prehistoric peril. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, is he looking at me? I think he's looking at me. His, eye, his eyes are following me. I don't like ah, it. <laughs> the sky's falling in. Oh. <laughs> My mistake. It's one of those meteorites again. Cool. Okay, and there's a, another meteorite has just crashed down. Uh, so yeah, that should probably uh, be the, the first thing that I go to discover on this island. But sadly, uh, we have uh, just about uh, run out uh, of time in this video here. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my first little baby steps uh, inside of LEGO World. I will, oh, the ground's hot here. I think I need to, to be careful. And yeah, I will continue playing it. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description to the, the next episode uh, where I can go and explore the, the rest of this island. And that will be online very soon. There. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!